Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. Editing your website for desktop, tablet and mobile devices has always been easy using the Elementor editor. But with our additional custom breakpoints, you now have the control and flexibility to fine tune your designs for four additional screen sizes. You can now add an additional mobile breakpoint, an additional tablet breakpoint, a laptop breakpoint, as well as a widescreen breakpoint. So if you're ready, let's dive in and learn how to use the new additional custom breakpoints. Depending on whether you're working on a new or existing website, you may have to enable the additional custom breakpoints in the experiments area. In the WordPress admin area, navigate your way to Elementor, Settings, Experiments, then scroll down until you see additional custom breakpoints and change the value to active and then save your changes. Let's now open our homepage in the Elementor editor and explore the new options that we've just enabled. With the editor loaded, let's first enable responsive mode. And as you can see, the responsive bar now appears at the top of the page. By default, we can see the three original options, the default desktop screen, tablet, and mobile. If we now select the gear icon located in the top right corner, the breakpoint setting tab automatically opens for us. This area can also be accessed via the site settings. Simply navigate to layout and then breakpoints. If we select the plus icon, a list appears showing all of the available breakpoints. Of course, we have the default mobile and tablet options, but we also have mobile extra, tablet extra, laptop and widescreen. Selecting one of the breakpoints enables it and it now appears in our active breakpoints list. Let's add a couple more. And if you ever need to remove one, simply delete the breakpoint like so. You'll notice that each breakpoint has a default value entered. This value is the pixels in which the breakpoint goes up to. For example, the mobile breakpoint will be applied to screen sizes up to 767 pixels. And if we drag the handles, we're able to preview this in real time. We're going to amend Mobile Extra to be 890 pixels, which is fine because it's smaller than the tablet breakpoint and larger than the mobile breakpoint. And then we'll update our settings. You will now be prompted to reload the page. This ensures the new custom breakpoints appear in the editor. If we now enable responsive mode again, you'll see the new custom breakpoint icons now show in the top bar. Hovering over these gives you more information about the range of pixels these breakpoints apply to. And if we check the mobile extra breakpoint, you'll see that the value is now 890 pixels, which is what we've just amended it to be. If we switch to widescreen, you'll notice that parts of the screen are cut off. Luckily, we now have a helpful zoom feature to ensure that we can edit with ease regardless of our own screen size. Let's now select an element to see just how to make individual changes per device. Select the main heading first of all, and then head over to the Style tab. Now under the Typography controls, you'll see a greyed out 11 VW in the size area. VW stands for Viewport Width and is a relative unit used in responsive web design as it scales well between different screen sizes. This greyed out value is being inherited by our default desktop device, which is where all values are set in the first instance. Let's change this to 7.3. And as you can see, the main heading is now displayed in a more visually pleasing way for widescreen devices. If we scroll down now, you'll see that our gallery is extremely wide in comparison to the rest of our website's elements. Select the gallery widget, switch to the advanced tab, and then set the left and right margins to 20%. That's much better. Switching back to our default desktop view now, we'll reset the zoom first of all. And if we select the heading widget and then check the font size, you'll see that nothing has changed for this device because this is our default device. Let's update our changes so far and then check out how our header appears on different devices. On tablet, first of all, we can see that the columns need adjusting slightly. Set the middle column to 60% and the right hand column to 5%. Now switching to the new mobile extra breakpoint, we can see that these column values have been inherited. While we have the mobile extra review port enabled, let's also check out some helpful features. You'll see these handles either side of the viewport, 
Dragging these will allow you to resize the website in real time to check how the website will appear at different sizes. Remember that the range here was amended to 890 pixels earlier on. And in the top right hand corner, you can see that the viewport stops at this range. You can also enter a manual value here as an additional way to resize the preview. The changes you see here are for preview purposes only and do not change the actual breakpoint settings. Let's update again and then switch back to the page. Scroll down now until you can clearly see the gallery widget and then select to edit it. Under the column settings, you'll see a greyed out 2. This greyed out number indicates that it's a reflected value, which means it's being inherited by a device above it. In this instance, it's the tablet device. Switching over to the tablet device, we still have the same value, but this time it's a solid colour, indicating that this is the set value. The value cascades down to lower devices, unless otherwise changed, like so. We can also do the same for spacing. And this is true anywhere that you see the responsive icons. Let's now check our design on mobile before we save for the final time. And there we have it. Everything is looking great. Additional custom breakpoints will really allow you to take your website creations to the next level. The expansion of these features provides you with even more control to create amazing website designs, which are consistent across even more screen sizes and devices. Experiment and test these features on your website projects and be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and tutorials.